what's up guys in this tutorial we learn more on pointers so if you don't know the basic about pointers please see my previous tutorial on pointers okay so uh, in my last tutorial we saw how to define a pointer and initialize it okay so what's the basic difference between a pointer and a normal variable difference between pointer and normal variable okay I'll write variable okay so suppose I have a variable suppose x I'll have a variable that's of the type int suppose int x is equal to 10 and or I'll give it 1000 okay and another I have a pointer in star ptr and I assign it a value of 1000 okay Sa uh, same as my variable x okay so now my pointer ptr and x hold the same value so you might be thinking both of uh, both this that variable and the pointer are same thing as in both are holding the same value so they must be same and both are the type int okay so now suppose if i increment uh, both x and uh, x and ptr i'll increment both the variables so what would be the uh, new values of x and ptr uh, can you think of it okay uh, you might think x plus plus means increment x by 1 so x would be equal to 1001 and ptr also is holding a value of 1000 increment ptr so it would be 1001 right okay actually this is not the case uh, pointers behave at uh, in a different manner than a normal variable okay okay the pointer things uh, here that I am of the type int and the size of int in C is uh, 4 byte so it increments uh, by 4 it doesn't increment by 1 it increments by 4 similarly if the point uh, so actually in actually the value of PTR would be uh, 1004 okay this is wrong I'll write here wrong so since it's an int pointer it increments by 4 uh, and suppose I had a pointer of the type character so the size of char is uh, 1 byte so it would increment by 1 similarly for other, uh, other type of pointers depending on the type of the pointer it increments its value uh, why it does so I would tell you in some time uh, just for time being just remember that ok yeah so suppose I had a pointer of the type car and it was pointing to the memory location 1000 or these are my address 1000, 1000, 1002 so if it was pointing to 1000 if I do uh, pointer plus plus it would then increment to 1001 then it would increment meant to 1002 uh, similarly if I had an int pointer firstly if it is pointing to 1000 then it would point to 1004 then it would again increment by 4 and point to 1008 so this is the basic difference between a pointer and a normal variable it increments its value depending on it on the size of the uh, type it's pointing okay uh, similarly for dec decrement and all those stuff okay suppose at this stage I am incrementing ptr by 2 as in ptr is equal to ptr plus 2 then ptr's new value would be 1004 plus 8 that is 1012 arrays actually work very much like pointers and it can be converted to pointers of appropriate type as in if I have an integer array I can convert it into a pointer of type integer I'll just give it a heading arrays and pointers okay arrays and pointer okay suppose I have an integer array suppose int arr of suppose 10 okay how this array is stored in memory they are a sequence of uh, sequence of integers as in in consecutive memory blocks and we know that the size of an int is 
फोर बाइट्स सो सपोज माई फर्स्ट इंट इंट वॉज एट नंबर टेन इट वुड टेक फोर बाइट सो वन टू थ्री फोर देन द सेकेंड इंटीज वुड स्टार्ट फ्रॉम यूर देन अगेन इट वुड टेक फोर बाइट सो वन टू थ्री फोर द थर्ड इंटीज वुड स्टार्ट फ्रॉम यूर वन टू थ्री फोर दिस इज हाउ एक्चुअली माई इंट आर इज स्टोर्ड इन मेमरी सो आई कैन राइट समथिंग लाइक दिस इन star p is equal to arr okay we uh we know that this arr would return the address of uh, the array as in the starting value arr would return the address okay i'll write the starting address address of array In this case, I am assuming that my array starts from thousand, so the start it would return the value thousand. That is the starting address of the array. Okay, so uh, now my pointer p uh, points to the first element of the array. Points to first element of the array. Okay, so uh, since Uh, and ar returns with the starting address so p will point to the first element so to access the first element i'll write star p i'll give it to access the first element okay suppose here my first element starts from here that is 1000 memory location so it would take four bytes the 1 2 3 and 4 Now to access the second element, I want my pointer to point to one zero zero four. So it must increment by four values. So to shift by four memory blocks, we just need to increment the value of our pointer by one. Since the type of my pointer is an int pointer, and we uh, when we increment it by one, uh, it uh, it shifts by four. So I'll just write shift uh, star of p plus one. so this would give me the second element and this is the actual reason why pointers behave in a different way that is it increments the value depending on the type of the variable that it points to uh, thus it can be used to access the element of elements of the array in a sequential manner as in star p would point to the first element p plus star p plus 1 would be the second element and so on so uh, arrays can behave this, uh, in the same way as pointers and vice versa so let's write a program using uh, pointers as in i'll access the elements of the array using pointer okay i'll give it a name access elements of array using pointers i will quickly write my basic structure hash include sdio dot h int main and return zero so firstly i need to define an array so i'll have int arr of suppose five elements i want and The element is about nine, one, four, two, and six. Then I want a pointer. I'll have int star ptr is equal to arr. Arr will return me the starting address of the array. So now I'll access the elements of the array. I'll access the elements of the array using or using my pointer ptr. and print them on the screen okay so i'll have a for loop that runs for the runs for five times so i'll have int i is equal to 0 i less than 5 i plus plus and i'll print a statement I want the ith element is and the value of the ith element of the array. So percentage d i 
ith element is then a percentage d comma first would be i and second would be star p and then i'll increment the value of p or my pointer okay let's save my file i'll give it a name pointers okay i already have a pointer so i'll give it pointers 1.c compile it and okay p is undeclared oh uh, i have used ptr so it should be star ptr and here ptr plus plus uh, uh, it's coming in a single line i'll just put a break okay yeah zeroth element is nine okay yeah, the zeroth element is nine then one then four then two then six so yeah uh, using my pointer i access the elements of the array what i did was uh, took the starting address of my array uh, stored it in my pointer ptr then increment by pointer to access the element okay so yeah that's it on this tutorial uh, see you in the next one please do subscribe to our channel like our video and do provide your suggestions for our improvement thank you